Welcome to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay and I have a super special announcement today. Season 3 of Queer Kid Stuff is going to be premiering next Wednesday. Oh. 3 of Queer Kid Stuff is going to be premiering next no. Wednesday. That's so soon. No. I'm so excited for you all to see the videos we've been working on. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like you be straight, you. You're not good. You, you're just a chicken. Chip, 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 chip. Trey, shut up. So it had been a hope of mine that Lindsay from Queer Kid Stuff had finally listened to some of the criticism that she had received on her channel and stopped. But apparently not folks, apparently she's back for season 3. So I'm going to go through and just show you some of her highlights from seasons 1 and 2 and show you exactly why I hate this particular YouTuber. Because her target demographic is so incredibly young and she's trying to teach communism to kids, like it's like ice cream, all about the gender spectrum to three-year-olds, consent to three-year-olds. So we're going to go through some of her highlights, and we're going to go through some behind-the-scenes shots from Lindsay's season three shoot. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the Facebook page, follow us on all of our social media, and support us on our Patreon. All of those links are down below, and stay tuned right after this announcement for behind-the-scenes footage. I'm so excited for Season 3. I hope you are, too. I'll see you then. Bye! So I have no idea who's supporting her on Patreon, as her target demographic is so incredibly young that they obviously don't have access to a credit card, so it must be the parents of these kids, and to them, please... There's other children-focused channels out there that could use your help right now that don't teach propaganda and topics that just children that young should not be tackling. The teddy bear is the, the thing that the kid is supposed to connect with and learn along with. <laughs> so this one is, communism is like sharing ice cream, which is just... I, I really dislike communism and I don't think I want a three-year-old to learn about it and I especially don't want them to learn it like that. Communism is definitely not like sharing ice cream, Lindsay. So if we're going with the ice cream metaphor, some people can afford to get a waffle cone with a bunch of different toppings and two scoops. And some people can get a sugar cone with one scoop. And a lot of people can't afford to have any ice cream at all. That's where privilege comes in, Teddy. That's right. People with money have a huge advantage over people with less money. Can't the person with the big ice cream cone share their money so other people can get ice cream too? That's an excellent question, Teddy, but I'm sorry I don't have an answer for you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! So I'm going to leave that YouTube Kids logo up because this is supported by YouTube itself. This is on the YouTube Kids app. We're all getting demonetized and YouTube backs a channel like this. YouTube logic, folks, it really doesn't make any sense. And also, I'm going to just use this image. I'm working on an actual sort of backdrop so I don't have to show, like, Lindsay's face over and over and over again. I was just superimposing and it was really, really pissing me off. So I thought I'd save you and me the frustration of looking at her uh, teaching communism to kids, uh, brainwashing kids' face. It's behind the scenes, <laughs> Queer Kid Stuff, season three. This is Montana. She's the voice of Teddy. Hello. We Hello. love her. <laughs> this is Emmy. Emmy is our production designer and also starring in season three. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the reason why I'm playing all these videos. Because if you watch that video alone, you'd be like, yeah, they look like really nice people. And they do. And that's why I'm shocked that they produce videos like this. So this is video two. The future is female. Now generally they, if they're doing an adult video they say it's for the adults but this is for the kids. So yeah, take it away Lindsay. That was the Women's March. The Women's March was a peaceful protest which is a form of activism. We learned a little bit about activism when I read A is for Activist by Ino Santo Nogueira for you. We will probably talk a little bit more about activism in the future. But to put it simply, activism is about expressing how you want something to change. This 
channel is actually a form of activism because I wanted to change how kids like you learn about LGBTQ plus topics. Well, at least you're being honest about it, Lindsay. And everything about this channel just really pisses me off. The tinny happy music that they use in every single video, no matter what topic they're covering. The fact it's aimed at such a young age demographic. They use a freaking teddy bear. If it was aimed at teenagers, I would have slightly less issue with it. But hey, communists and ideologues love getting them when they're young, because easiest to brainwash. This is Megan. Megan is our costume designer and makeup artist. Definitely knows how to tie a tie. <laughs> and we're really having a good time with this bow tie. Just a tip, if the interaction is really awkward, I would just ask her to shoot again. Maybe say the lighting is really bad, just make something up. Because if you're going for that awkward sort of humour, it really doesn't work. Well, at least for you guys, but that's just my personal opinion. And the next video I have is three ways to be an ally. And I don't think you want your children to be an ally with these people. Awesome. There are so many different ways to be an ally. You can be an ally to people with different skin colors, different pronouns, different bodies. The list goes on. Okay, so what do I have to do to be a good ally? The three main things to remember about being a good ally are to respect other people, listen to other people, and learn from other people. So obviously that doesn't sound too bad. But as you see more and more of their videos, I think you'll understand that they want you to kind of listen and believe and learn from them. And that's a terrible, terrible choice for your child to make, as I think it will actually just mentally screw them up. Because they cover really deep topics. And most of them aren't adult zone. Most of them are just for young kids. I'm Hannah. I'm the director slash cinematographer, and I'll be behind the camera all day. Also, check out my cool sweatshirt. My it means, means happy. happy. <laughs> hey friends, welcome back to Queer Kid Stuff. I'm Lindsay. And, and of course, on the blackboard, in the camera, it says gender expression. Such a wonderful topic for young kids to learn about. So in the next video I have, they use a physically disabled person basically as a prop and teach her a song saying that Lindsay's more privileged than her and yeah it's just like you guys really are actually pretty mean I wouldn't teach a song to someone and be like oh look yeah you're uh, physically disabled like come on sing along if you know the words Sometimes when you're at the park playing, you'll find some of the other kids saying, Look, see, the monkey bars are a breeze. You watch the other kids swinging by with these, but you can't reach. I'm just confused. Danny, don't worry about that. Lisa loves you too, as a person, as a human being, as a friend. You know, people don't have to say it. They can feel it. So obviously they're completely tone deaf. It's quite embarrassing. I think Tommy Wiseau helped Danny more in that scene than Lindsay teaching the privileged song to a physically disabled person. I don't understand how you don't see this, Lindsay. It just seems to me like it's really, really slack. Maybe don't highlight that. Maybe just find some other qualities that's good about it. Maybe she's got a great intellect. I don't know. This is what Teddy does when we have a guest. It's a lie under the table. We have a guest coming soon. Wonder who it is. I wonder who it is. I'm rolling. I'm gender rolling again. So they actually seem like quite nice people, which makes this next video I'm going to show you incredibly shocking. It's if a communist made a children's book, this literally would be it. Uh, there's quite a few clips from here. I will put all the videos that I've shown in the description box below. I would watch this one, though obviously don't send anything to her. Obviously, I don't think she'll read it anyway. But this, this one in particular is why I immensely dislike Lindsay. Because she just makes it seem so freaking nice. And 
Yeah, what's the death count of communism, Lindsay? P. P, P, peace march. Pro, pro, protest. Pow, pow, power to the P, P, people. Yeah. R. Radical reds, the headlines said. Ruinous rioters, the rumors spread. Rabble rousing riffraff. Really? So I think she was referring to the Red Scare there with R. And this entire storybook is awful. The, the link will be in the description below. Go watch this one if you watch any of them. As every single one is just some level of propaganda. From green energy to communism to gender spectrum, diversity. Just pick a social justice warrior talking point and it will be in this book that most likely came out of hell. You, you is for weekends. You is for workers' rights. Wait, that's not you, that's W. You is for union. Union, yes. W, wondrous world, wondrous we. We cannot be whole, we cannot be free unless we delight in diversity. X, X is for Malcolm. It's over! It's not over. Everybody betrayed me. I fed up with this world. She goes on to reference some topics that should not be discussed with children, and this is in a children's book. So we're getting close to the end of this video, so I thought I'd end it on a high note, as we'll let them say goodbye, and then we'll check out the final video. Which is to do with Frozen and their theories on it, and uh, I think we've got our new Sherlock Holmes, folks. To all the parents that are supporting this channel, please stop. There are many other channels that can use your help and this one teaches propaganda. It talks about topics that young children should not be talking about in an incredibly ideologically slanted way that will most likely harm them in the future. So this last video, they want to know if Elsa from Frozen is queer and they have some theories about this and Hey, they might be right, but I don't think so. Can you tell everyone your pronouns first and how you identify? Sure, Teddy. I use she, her, hers, and I identify as a straight, cisgendered lady. Rose, I was just talking about feminism and sisterhood in Frozen. Want to walk us through it with our handy-dandy popsicle puppets? Definitely. Now I want to know why it's queer. Excellent question. Okay. The queer part is pretty specifically about the character Elsa. Elsa's so cool, she's got magic powers, and she has that awesome song. Exactly. And her queerness has everything to do with her powers and the song she sings. Now, there isn't anything in Frozen that directly tells us that Elsa is queer. You guys definitely rival Think Tank. I don't think they have ever debunked themselves in the same sentence. It's completely woven into a character, yet they don't directly reference it ever. And they have three points as to why they think Elsa is queer. And I don't think they actually toe the SJW line on this one as... Yeah, it kind of, they kind of make it look like if a strong independent woman doesn't have a man, they're instantly a lesbian, so... I don't think that's going to go too well with your crowd. But there are a couple clues we can take a closer look at. The first clue is that she doesn't have any romantic interests in the story. The only person in the whole movie with romantic stuff is Anna. That's right. The second and third clues are Elsa's magical powers and the song Let It Go. Both of these clues have to do with coming out. So the first one, I think you're in incredibly dangerous waters, saying that a strong independent woman such as Elsa, just because she doesn't have a man, she's a lesbian, I think uh, the social justice community won't like that. And I guess you can twist the second and third, but I took it as her ice powers, she's strong, the trolls told the parents to embrace it, but instead they 
shunned her strength, so I took it as that sort of message. I, I honestly don't think that if like a, a female character doesn't have a guy, that they're just instantly a lesbian. That That's just insane. And that's their point, though. What's coming out? It's a saying. Talking about coming out is short for coming out of the closet. Like when you get dressed in the morning? <laughs> no, Teddy. We're going to get more into what coming out is in a future episode, but for now, we can think of coming out as a moment. Specifically, the first moment an LGBTQ plus person tells another person that they identify as LGBTQ plus. You can love someone deep inside your heart and there is nothing wrong with it. If a lot of people love each other, the world would be a better place to live. So this is why I immensely dislike Lindsay's channel, because I can show some scenes of the room to young children. I'd feel comfortable with that. I can't show anything from a channel to young children, and it's designed for young children. Because it's just complete propaganda. Every single social justice warrior talking point out there, she is covered. But hey, so I'll be covering season 3 of Lindsay. I won't obviously cover all the videos, because we'd all just want to, you know... So, I'll be covering the worst ones. So, I've set up a Patreon. If you guys could let me know what you're interested in terms of perks, that'd be fantastic. It'd be a great help. And I'm also going to be doing a lot more live streams. Once I hit 8K, I'll be doing an 8K Q&A, a channel moving forward sort of thing, and a thank you. And I'm also trying to get Kevin Logan on currently. Come on, Kevin. I, I supported you, man. I was like, yeah, definitely go on the Richard Spencer live stream. You'd do great, man. <laughs> Uh, I actually did, and he actually liked the tweet, so maybe there's a budding bromance there. <laughs> Probably not, but still, I am trying to get him on the channel. But anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I can't believe I'm about to hit 8k subs. Uh, I really appreciate the support, and I'll catch you guys later. You can love someone deep inside your heart, and there is nothing wrong with it. If a lot of people love each other, the world would be a better place to live.